What's up you guys, this is Junior Trader and in this video we are taking a look at SMCI stock. Guys, just looking right at the screen you can tell that SMCI is hitting my take profit target and well if you have seen my morning video on Nvidia you already know a bit of update on this but have I taken all of my profits here or what am I doing with my positions? So I'll talk about that in this video and what is the next move on SMCI here that I'm expecting? So. I'll talk about all of that in this video. So stick till the very end because if you have been seeing my videos, I cover all these plays in advance and I provide update day to day basis on, again, you already have the principles of sizing in, sizing out and you know, and you see those things as I provide updates as well in my videos. So, but all these plays that I cover across all these different stocks, I talk to them I talk to you guys about these plays before they even are about to develop and then as they develop and I take them, I put them here on my videos as well. But you already, as I said, you already have these plays before they even develop. So it's very important to follow all of my videos if you are interested and definitely hit the like and subscribe if you find my videos valuable and helpful. Now, I also want to let you know anything, everything that I say or show you guys on my videos is only for education purposes nothing is financial advice and you are solely responsible for your own decisions and outcomes okay so now let's talk about smci here so what we have at least have had on smci over the last couple of weeks now is this was our sixth play right First play, 100% profitable short. Second play, 100% profitable. Third play, ran into my stop loss. Fourth play, 50% profitability. Fifth play, huge move of $300 that we captured and I talked about it before this even happened and I called it out on my channel. There's a $300 move coming on SMCI. And then I took it as well. And this was that $300 move. So if you have followed all of my videos, you already knew that this play was going to happen. Then this was the sixth play on SMCI that I was taking and here we are. Today, yes, I booked out all of my profits, I'm fully out of this position and this is closed for me. Good money made, good money made. So now let's talk through this you know, process of SMCI, right? If you, Again, I'm just going to provide a real quick background on this but um, if you have been following my videos, you already know that. And then we'll talk about what I'm expecting next from here. So this was SMCI. I started my position at 1025 due to the break of structure. Then I ended up taking out my 50% position at break even when it went up. And then it went back into my break even zone into the pullback. But then I saw that also this trend line was, you know, working out so great. All these pivots always rejecting. And then I reloaded my original 50, well, I did take some partial profits out down here. And then I reloaded my 50% position that I took out on break even here, again, back into this rejection and break at that same trend line and breaking below 1,025. And finally, like I was sizing out throughout the you know time of this was, you know, going to the downside. And finally, finally, I am fully out now of SMCI. All the money has been made. So, I mean, yeah, it's almost down there. I just use this, you know, take again. Yes, the target is down here, but when I see price consolidating and I'm very close already to my uh, position, take profit position, I, I, yeah, I mean, I'm out fully position, profit position. You know, it's, I'm not going to, you know, uh, argue here with myself, oh, it's just left like a cent or a penny down there. Oh, I got to wait one more cent or 10 more cents. No. <laughs> so, but anyways, that was a great move. Took a lot of money, you know, made a lot of money. I mean, out of it. And again, wow, loving it. SMCI has given me so many great trades. I'm loving it. Now, what, what's next from here moving forward, junior trader, you ask, right? So I'm going to let it a little bit boil for less so for next couple of days let it run its course let it develop some price action because why so so on daily interval i'm seeing it's at 50 days moving average i am expecting some reaction around it okay i'm expecting some choppiness around it and i'm i'm waiting for this clean break below 50 days moving average so level of 900 dollars almost 
So if tomorrow I see this thing below 50 days moving average, it's still bearish though, guys, okay? But if, if I see tomorrow it below $900, this could be a flush zone right around this zone, okay? And that's what I'm watching because there's a chance it may do a little bit of a rebound here. It's still bearish though, but there's a chance it may do rebound and then I want to see how the rebound later reacts and develops its price action. But if that rebound starts to weaken out and it breaks that 50 days moving average, then yes, that next play that I'm trying to want to take is break below 50 days moving average, flushing all the way down to 691. So that's the next play that I am wanting to take on SMCI. But is the confirmation there for that already? No. I'm waiting for that confirmation and that will be below 50 days moving average. Otherwise, yes, there's a possibility. This may a little bit run up, you know, let's see. And then if it rejects again at, I don't know if it's going to go to nine, all the way 995 because rebounds, there's, you know, this, how much feebleness is in that rebound, how much strength is in that rebound we have to see. And then 20 days moving average coming overhead re reaction, rejection is also what I'm watching. So yes. In other words, I'm waiting and watching the price action for now at least until it gives me that confirmation below 50 days moving average. Junior trader, don't you think this can become a long play? Well, let's see that possibility. So I'm just gonna extend this trend line out now a little bit so that we have our areas to watch. So yeah, junior trader, can't you think that this can be a long play? Well, if it has to be a long play, it has to give me some confirmation first. And right now, at least where the price action is, I would at least want to see it above 975. If it's not able to do that by tomorrow, I'm not gonna look for long on this. It, it has a room to go choppy a little bit here, but that's not gonna make it bullish. It's just the choppiness. Um, and then, as I said, I'm watching that 50 days moving average break to the downside on a flush and that flush with such some more break of structure i want to see and then i might open my another short position on smci well all in all looking great so far but this was the update guys um yeah so happy i'm happy with this play as well so great all right so let's go over nvidia i did nvidia in the morning but i just want to show you what it's been doing since then and Yep, so it's still weak, 891 is still uh, rejecting. I talked about this level of 875 is the last, you know, saving point for uh, bulls for intraday. And, but seems like it it's already gone. So, because the, over, the majority or the more strength is on the, you know, the downside, right? Because 891 was the level. Because intraday, bulls, if they can make it long, you know, this this is their chance to hold 875 for this pivot on NVIDIA, but they are failing so far. And because 891 is a great strong resistance that has been acting and we have been talking about that. So structure hasn't really changed, but yeah. So bulls are still failing. They're still trying to keep it in this channel, but I don't think they will be able to. Just looking at the price action, if NVIDIA doesn't close is above right now, you know, you can take $877 level as well. If NVIDIA can close above this today, uh, you just expect it to continue lower tomorrow as well. Uh, but I'll talk about in the later uh, videos as well when the market has closed on NVIDIA. Um, yeah, so I just want to show you QQ and SPY. I know I didn't show this when we were doing NVIDIA this morning. So I did show ARM and AMD and other stocks, but let's take a look at QQ. So again, I, you know, it's taking a sweet time, but I think it's still in the distribution phase. It has time to go lower, but it's, it's just taking its sweet time. Okay. It's just taking its sweet time in my opinion. Let's take a look at SPY. Similar story, just like QQQ. I think it's just taking its sweet time, but I think market will correct now soon enough. And if it doesn't correct, we have our stop loss accordingly, but this is still in my opinion, a distribution phase. Uh, which means we have a room to go lower. Look at Tesla, $8 up today, guys. Another video will be coming out on Tesla. Don't you worry. Don't you worry. I got your back there. So let's take a look at AMD real quick. So yeah, just feeble, very feeble rebound again today. Nothing much out of it. Yeah, it's it's weak. It has room to continue to go lower. I talked about, I, I'll do another video on AMD much more in detail later. 
um cool B broadcom is a little bit of a <laughs> i have a sh second short position on this first this one ran into my knocked me out it just went a little bit higher i i could have you know increased my stop loss but i am like all right whatever yeah first one knocked me out i opened second short position i'm in this short position but it's really not making that move so i'm just questioning myself if i should size out some today and you know yeah because it, it's it's looking weak on hourly interval it's looking weak so let's see how it turns out eventually yeah i'm gonna keep holding right now uh this position all right well guys that's all for this video most importantly my focus on this video was smc i walk you through with my position update and all of that and what how next i'm looking at smci as well all right with that guys i'll see you in my next video take care bye